Assalamu alaikum children, my name is Manur Zahid and I'll be your English instructor. So our today's topic is English vocabularies. What are we going to learn today? So we are going to learn the pronunciation of some new words, their meaning and how to use them in a sentence. Pretty exciting, right? We are going to learn some new words. Okay, so our very first word for today is castigate. How to pronounce it? So to make it easier for you, we're going to divide this word into three parts. Uh, so I'm going to repeat the, those parts and you're going to repeat after me. Uh, the first part is k. Repeat after me. K. One more time. K. Okay. The second part. T. 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 K. T. The third part. Gate. K. T. Gate. Okay, so we're gonna pronounce it now. Combine. K. St. Gate. K. St. Gate. Okay, one more time. K. K. St. St. Gate. Gate. K. St. Gate. One more time. K. St. Gate. K. St. Gate. So, uh, what does castigate mean? Do you have any idea or any prerequisite knowledge? Oh, don't worry. Let me show you. Can anyone tell me what is happening in this picture? Um, can anyone draw any kind of conclusion after seeing this picture? <clears throat> okay. So, uh, first thing, uh, let's analyze this uh, picture first, okay? So uh, let's analyze. Uh, we have two characters over here. Okay, the first character is this lady, and uh, the second character over here is this man. The first character is um, um, does not seem really happy with this second character. This man, this lady is not really happy with this man, and she's saying something over here. Oh, look at this. Um, she's saying, "Shame on you." Oh, she's why? Why is she saying that? what 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 does she mean what are her intentions um oh, can anyone tell me what is she saying well what, how, when do we say shame on you um when we are angry on someone <clears throat> when we are upset about something someone did and and when we are pointing something out when we want to make someone guilty of something yeah do we do that yes we we, we use it uh, in multiple places but over here this lady is most likely criticizing this person shame on you for not uh, doing a certain thing or for doing a certain wrong thing so um Castigate actually means to criticize someone or something severely, right? Like um, if someone has uh, done some bad deed, so we are like criticizing the other person that you have uh, not done something um, really good. As this example sentence over here, we have that uh, the health inspectors castigated the kitchen staff for poor standards of cleanliness. The health inspectors, uh, you can see the health inspectors went to the kitchen, to a restaurant's kitchen, to check the cleanliness and hygiene over there. But they did not find the hygiene um, as per their standards. So they castigated the kitchen staff. They criticized the kitchen staff severely. It means to criticize or to punish someone, you know, getting my point. So how we, uh, this is uh, one example sentence over here. Um, uh, read it. Yes, health inspectors castigated the kitchen staff for poor standards of cleanliness. Over here, we have used this past tense of castigated. Yes. Okay, 
So uh, let's move on to our second word. Mercurial. Our second word is mercurial. How to pronounce it? We are going to break it into four parts over here. Mer-cure-e-l. Mer, mer, repeat after me, mer, cure, 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 e, 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 o, 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 not together, mer, cure, e, o. Mercurial. Okay, one more time. Mer. Mer. Cure. Cure. E. E. O. O. Mercurial. Okay, so one more time. Mer. Cure. E. O. Mercurial. So, um, any guesses what this word means? Okay, then let me show you an image. Maybe you can um, guess then what it means. Okay, so what do we see over here? A happy boy and a sad boy. Um, let's analyze this picture. Okay. So it is the same boy that we know. It is the same character. No, no, no second character in this image. Only uh, uh, one boy. Okay. So first, the boy is happy. Like he's really happy. He's jumping. And in the second image, you can see the boy is sad. He's like about to cry, I guess. So what happened from a happy boy to a sad boy? A sad any any guesses what could mercurial mean a happy boy turned into a sad boy a sudden or maybe you can take it like this a sad boy turned into a happy boy you can go either ways what is happy and sad these are like two moods right what can it mean yes so mercurial means sudden change in mood or mind you can say an, an unexpected or a sudden change see over here a happy boy turned into a sad boy that's what the picture is showing moving on to the definition definition subject to sudden or unpredictable changes of mood or mind yes that's what mercurial means okay so uh, we have an example sentence over here how how to use mercurial in um, a sentence okay so we have as my sister has mercurial moods we never know how she will be feeling from one moment to the next means that um, the person who wrote this sentence uh, their sister is his sister is uh, has mercurial mood so they never know that what she'll be feeling from one moment to the next so that's how we use it in a sentence okay read it yes and uh, make your own sentences as well from the first using the first one and the second word uh, mercurial and castigate both okay okay so our third and final word for today's lecture is venerate let's learn the pronunciation uh, I, we have divided this word into three parts v v v nur Nur eight 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 the nur eight venerate. Okay, so now repeat after me v v v nur 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 eight 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 
venerate. Okay, one last time. V, 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 ner, 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 eight, 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 v, ner, eight, venerate. So I hope the pronunciation is clear to you all. So let's move on. What does venerate mean? Have you have you guys ever heard this word before in your daily vocabulary or have you seen anyone saying this? No? Okay, so uh, let me show you an image. Um, maybe you can guess it then. Oh, over here. See, who is he? He is an army general, most probably. And what is he doing? He is saluting. Oh, so what have we concluded from this image is that an army general, a, an army personal is saluting. Um, what, why, what, what is he doing? Why, why is he saluting? Any, any guesses? What does a salute mean? Why, when, when do we salute? Mm hmm. Oh, okay. No worries. Uh, moving on. We salute when we are regarding someone with great respect. We stand up usually. You have you must have seen that uh, whenever your teacher enters a class, you stand up to say good morning out of respect. Whenever there is an uh, army personnel, he salutes to his officer. That uh, that is a symbol of respect. Saluting is a symbol of respect. So this venerate means regard with great respect. You're regarding someone or something with great respect. Yeah. So uh, let's uh, move on to the sentence. The town plans to venerate the former president by naming the street after him. That's how we use venerate in a sentence. The town plans to venerate the former president by naming a street after him. So uh, the president is uh, someone that we should re all respect. Yes. So the town is planning to name a street after the president because this way they are uh, trying to show their respect for the president. I hope you guys get the meaning of this word venerate now. It means to uh, regard someone or something with great respect. As over here, they are the town plans to venerate the former president by naming a street after him. Mean their town is uh, showing a symbol of respect by naming a street after the president. The former president. Okay. So, ooh, it's time to conclude our lecture. Um, what did we learn today, kids? We learned three words, three new vocabulary words. Castigate, mercurial, and venerate. Now, what does castigate mean? Can someone tell me? Okay. So, to criticize someone or something severely, right? To criticize someone or, or something severely. Mercurial, sudden or unpredictable changes of mood or mind. Venerate, to regard with great respect. It could be someone or something you're regarding with great respect. Okay, one more time. Can someone voluntarily tell me a sentence uh, from these uh, three words? Can someone tell me? Okay, five. I'm giving you two minutes. Just make some sentences out of these three words, and then um, you guys will be telling me those sentences. Okay, great. Okay, so that's all for today's lecture. Have a great day. Um, take care of yourselves. Okay, so until we meet again, Allah Hafiz.